Here for more began noticing certain patterns occurring in the market leading up to 1929. To keep up with his new expensive lifestyle, he turned back to trading. These were similar patterns to those that he observed in the build-up to the crash of 1907. Feeling confident about the hunch he had, he began opening short trades in anticipation. At one point, he was even living in his office just so he could keep placing trades in the lead-up to what he expected to be a huge negative movement. Of course, the boy plunger Livermore was correct and he enjoyed the most successful period of trading of his entire life.